Today's video, we're discussing a piece of research that says if you have mild to moderate kidney disease or a kidney transplant, you have a much higher risk of getting cancer and dying of cancer. So that's what today's video is about. And if you have kidney disease or a kidney transplant like me, what you should do, what you should do to help prevent cancer and if to uh, make it more treatable by catching it very early. So thanks for watching. This is Healthy Kidney Inc. My channel, Robert Galarowitz, a kidney survivor, been through all stages of kidney disease. And we have hundreds of videos to help you support good kidney health. So feel free to subscribe, check out everything. And today, this comes to you from the American Journal of Kidney Diseases, published April 8th, 2022. And it says, patients with kidney disease may have an increased risk of cancer. So this really isn't anything new. We've known this for many years. It just looks like it made the headlines now and it's just circulating uh, throughout news headlines and the health sections. So we already known this, nothing new. Because if you have decreased organ function, it's gonna affect your body and it's gonna affect a lot of things which are gonna make you at an increased risk of getting cancer and dying of cancer. So if you have kidney disease or a kidney transplant, what you should do, cancer screenings are so important and the number one thing you should do. Make sure you have all your doctor's visits. Uh, when you're supposed to, you get your blood work, you do a colonoscopy when it's recommended, um, and you can ask and do additional cancer screening. So that's the most important thing. Because we know, like with kidney transplants, myself, I, anybody with a kidney transplant, is up to uh, up to 80% and some journals even say higher that you can get skin cancer or the beginning of skin cancer which is abnormal cells. Now I actually, you can even see it here, a little spot right here, a little brown spot, that's actually abnormal cells. Uh, years ago I got, uh, well I had my transplant and it happened because I was um, doing housework outside for a summer and the light reflected off my glasses here had some abnormal cells, which left untreated would have turned into cancer cells, and I got it frozen off. Looks like it came back recently, and I'll be doing that procedure shortly. And it's not even a procedure, it's just going in the office and getting a little um, a spray that kills the cells off and fresh cells regrow. So, get your cancer screenings, so important. All right, that's the top thing. Now we're gonna talk about vitamin D, okay? A super supplement, good for kidney disease. It's a pro-hormone, it does so many good things. And if you can get that level on your blood work to 40 to 60, it drops your levels of getting certain cancers. Okay, and ideally it should be like 50 to 60. Some people say higher on your blood test, but that may be beneficial, but we really don't know yet, okay? And it's not conclusive, but if we know if you get your vitamin D levels at the 40 to 60 range, 50 to 60, which I like, you're gonna drop your risk, okay? So very important. Also important is a lower fat diet with healthier fats. That is shown to prevent a variety of cancers and preventing their recurrence once they're treated. So a lot of fruits and vegetables, okay, lots and lots of fruits, vegetables, less fried foods, more olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You can put on salads, you can uh, lightly dress it over vegetables. Okay, so good for your heart health. And just get rid of all those excess fats. And those excess fats will come from those fried foods and they'll come from packaged foods, okay? Your donuts, your cakes, your pies, your pop tarts, okay? all these type of things have unhealthy forms of fat. Uh, so you wanna do those things, your vitamin D, your cancer screenings, lots of fruits and vegetables, healthy fats and lower fats. So if you get rid of a lot of those packaged foods and those fried foods, you're automatically gonna be lower fat. And then if you have the healthier fats, it'll be much better for you. Um, switching butter to like a plant-based butter, okay, and lower sodium is better and preferred because you're getting out what is potentially an unhealthy fat and switching with a healthier one. So those are all the things that you can do if you have kidney disease or a kidney transplant to lower your risk. Uh, one thing for anybody with kidney disease, especially transplants, is avoiding long sun exposure. I learned my lesson, and so uh, I might go to the beach once or twice a year and you're gonna find me under an umbrella that I have. I won't be uh, really out there a lot. I might go into the water for a couple of minutes when I'm coming back in. I won't be out there for long periods of time. And if I do, I'm lathered up in a lot of sunscreen. So those are things you can do. Thanks for watching everybody. Just because you have kidney disease or kidney transplant doesn't mean you're gonna get cancer, okay? All it means is that you're at a little higher risk. And what comes with that little bit of risk is doing some of the things that I mentioned here to offset that risk. 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health.